So this is <clears throat> a bunch of 15 volt power supplies that I salvaged out of some uh, rejected medical grade equipment. And they're very nice little power supplies like Connor is a, Connor is a good power supply manufacturer. And these are um, DC power supplies, 15 volt. They all check, well, un, without load, not, un, not under load. They all produce very, very, very close to 15 volts. Um, 15, um, 15.01, and that's just a, like, what is that? Uh, 15, you know, within a hundredth of a volt, a millivolt, uh, actually maybe within five millivolts of 15 volts. And then I haven't even tried to um, do any adjustments. I would imagine that that is the pot that adjusts the output voltage. But, um, but yeah, um, those will come in handy, no doubt. Nice connectors here, you know, a spade connector for grounding. So the plug comes in to the, these are the actual um, sockets that came on the device as well. So um, that grounds to chassis, that um, spade lug would go to a um, bolt to the chassis and then also there would be a wire that um, goes from the chassis to this to ground the um, the board. So um, uh, unless your chassis was plastic, in which case you could just take this ground and take it directly to the um, directly to the power supply. So yeah, um, a nice collection of three little power or four little power supplies that produce 15 volts um, could be useful for a number of different things. In particular, if I wanted this to be a 0 to 15 volts with 0 to 3 amps, because, hey, 3.3 amp maximum output, that would provide a nice 15 volt, a, a maximum 15 volt adjustable power supply. And then if I had a couple of those, I would have dual 15 volt power supplies. Or if I had a dual, or if I had four of these, you could make a very nice, uh, put that all in a box, you could make a very nice, yeah, that's, that, I would need to do something about cooling and things like that, but you could make a four output, four adjustable output power supply with um, maximum 15 volt three amps per rail. So yeah, that's a project for the future for sure. Um, start with one, make it expandable, or start with one. Um, these guys, like I find these in the uh, recycling bin on a regular basis. You know, if that was you know a month, and those appeared. So yeah, easy enough to to make a few of those. Okay, so let's see what this little um, contraption can put out. Um, We've got our 15 volt power supply um, that's going to go into our um, chassis eventually when we <clears throat> put that together. So let's plug this baby in. Hopefully I don't kill myself. And okay, so there should, oh, look at that. She boots up. And power on off, zero volts. Look at that. And it says 4.99 volts here, and up on the 3478, it says 5.092, oh, oh, 092, so not bad. Okay, so this is a 15 volt power supply. It only allows you to go up to 13.9, so that's got a one volt um, dropout on its voltage regulator, okay but it's got a buck as well. So I can get it up to 13.99 volts and on the 3478 it says 13, 14.0001. Look at that. 12.9, 11.9. Oh wow, and you can adjust it down to the microvolts. <clears throat> or, um, Ten, tens of tens of millivolts.
It's not bad. And then that turns it off. And then it slows down, goes down to zero volts. So yeah, that's not a bad little um, doodobbly. So definitely you get a very precision voltage, well, precision, you get a pretty, um, pretty, uh, pretty accurate. Meter one, meter two, I don't know what that's all about. Get a pretty accurate little um, zero to 15 volt power supply with zero to three amps. So yeah, I'm gonna pop some of those into a case. I'm gonna probably order up a couple more of these just because, yeah, it'd be nice to have around. Although, um, yeah. Looks pretty good. Okay, so these uh, these came out of the dumpster, and so I can't see why I wouldn't try and repurpose these cases for a power supply. As it turns out, the um, these guys, the um, the cutouts should be just about right. So I just have to enlarge that cutout like that. And then I've got room for two binding posts here <clears throat> that will be used as the power output. So uh, where are my binding posts? They're somewhere. A pair of binding posts coming out of there. And it's a pretty reasonable little um, 15 volt power supply. Can't see why I wouldn't use that. And then it was time to do some fabric cobbling. So basically the um, the power supply input connector I was able to do with a Dremel tool and I got a very reasonable rectangular hole just by using the Dremel tool. But <clears throat> the rest of it didn't necessarily go so smooth. Since I didn't have any more cutoff wheels I had to resort to a bra hacksaw blade in order to cut out all of the other the, sorry, the other major um, recess and a file and um, some drill pressing to get the other uh, recess for the um, for the power switch. But good news is that you can cover up a lot of sins with a bit of flange. Um, after that, it was a pretty simple matter of um, popping in the um, the standoffs for the board, but um, that was the only easy part of the way I had designed this. And oh my gosh. I just have to, have to say that uh, prototyping will solve you worlds of uh, DFM, pro design for manufacturing problems. Like, uh, I, at that point, I had stripped out the, um, the fastener for the power supply, or for the power input cable. But <clears throat> now we um, do some measuring of cables and make sure that we, everything that we want to put in there um, fits in there and then get all of the different um, cable harnesses that we have to get um, organized, organized. I was lucky in that the original equipment came with a power connector that was fine. I rung out the um, the switch that I wanted to use and found out that it was a double pole single throw so that it could switch both neutral and hot uh, at the same time. But yeah, um, anytime you have to get out hemostats in order to assemble anything, you know that your DFM is completely wrong. So um, revisit how that thing is going to be um, assembled and think about assembly as you're laying out components inside of an, any kind of an enclosure, whether it's <clears throat> something that you're designing or something that you've been in, you've inherited. Um, think about how you're going to install all of the components. So for example, um, uh, the, uh, the ground lug actually had nice um, accessibility from above and you didn't, I didn't have to use vice grips. I could have gone out to the garage and got my um, nut driver but um, I didn't. Anyways, it turns out that from where I installed the uh, the banana or the banana jacks, <clears throat> definitely needed to get a, uh, a a nut driver and a ratchet in order to install those. As we'll see later. So after um, uh, cobbling together the um, the cabling that's required for the running power from the input, I was finally able to um, install rigidly the. Um, the power out connectors, uh, the binding posts, and then pop in the remainder of the componentry, which was just the um, the front panel um, device, the the actual um, controller, and it just popped in 
nicely and then I plug in our um, cable harness that I built for it um, based on um, where everything else was and so yeah you know it's it's maintainable to a point but um, yeah definitely um, designed for manufacturing a very important component of everything oh yeah here's a um, here's a view of the uh, power like input input power um, ground comes directly to the chassis first um, and as short a run as possible and then make sure that that's um, crimped down and spaded down or um, um, eyelet down and then put some feet on the case uh, make sure that everything is working so let's put some power to it and power it up and yep everything seems to be working as it was before and uh, yeah return the um, the screws to the original screws to the case and we have ourselves a little power supply so yeah, I like that. The um, the power button actually um, illuminates while uh, it's plugged in, and then you can tell if it's in power on mode. So yeah, there it is. A um, build of uh, a power supply based on that DPS um, 3003. Anyways, thanks for watching. Bye for now.